What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Apologies for my um, croaky voice. I've only just got up. Uh, please don't forget as well to smash that like button. It will help a lot with the channel. And you can support the channel as well by going to my Patreon account. The link is in the description. Let me put this down. It's still a bit hot. Um, all right, so Floyd Mayweather is back. Floyd Mayweather announced on his social media that he is coming out of retirement in 2020. As part of this coming out of retirement, Floyd Mayweather will work alongside UFC president Dana White. Dana White, uh, I think, retweeted uh, Floyd Mayweather's post onto his own social media. So that is legit. This is no hoax. This is no no one else reporting it. This is the two guys involved in it, the two sort of bigwigs, if you like, at the top of the table reporting that they are going to work with each other in 2020. This has nothing, I don't believe, to do with UFC or mixed martial arts. Uh, I think this is all down to Zufa Boxing. Dana White announced nearly four years ago that he wants to get involved with boxing. By the way, Dana White was involved with boxing many, many years ago. Um, he managed a few fighters as well. So Dana White mentioned, sorry, four or five years ago that he wants to get involved with boxing. He confirmed that again this year by saying he is going to start up Zoo for boxing. Um, now, you wonder if this is part of that big plan. A lot of people asked me um, when they found out Dana White wants to get involved with boxing, how is Dana White going to compete with this kind of growing market, right, where talent seems to be everywhere. Who is he going to sign? What type of talent is he going to sign? Is he going to go for veterans? Is he going to go for young stars? What's he going to do? Well, this is what he's going to do, right? He's going to get the biggest name in boxing as part of his team, right? Um, and it looks like Floyd's going to have a fight. I mean, you saw the photo. Floyd took a picture with his boxing shorts on, right? I don't know if that's an old photo or a new photo saying he's going to come out of retirement. Is it going to be an exhibition match? We don't know, but I guarantee you there'll be a lot of guys in around 147 pounds and 154 pounds that are begging for a phone call right now. Begging for a phone call because Floyd Mayweather equals big checks, right? Um, Floyd Mayweather's 42 years old. So I'm not necessarily happy he's coming out of retirement. Um, you feel like this guy's done everything you can do, right? Not just in terms of winning belts, which is something he's done early on in his career. I'm talking earning those big checks. Floyd has earned a lot of money. And again, for me, you know what I say, get in, get rich, get out. He's done all that. Why is he coming back again? Uh, I guess the simple answer is that, right? He wants more money. We know how Floyd lives. He lives lavishly. He likes to spend, likes to flaunt, likes the attention. He'll get both. He'll get big money and he'll get the attention. Um, I don't know what kind of money, but you know, it's not going to be anything less than 25, 30 million dollars, anything less than that. So um, Floyd is back. Um, again, it is part of this zoo for boxing. Um, Dana White wanted to make a splash. He's making a splash. Everyone is talking about this right now. Let me quickly check if this still hot. It is. <laughs> yes, everyone is talking about this right now. It's all over social media. It's getting retweets and likes everywhere. Uh, you're talking about two of the best promoters in the game, let's be honest. Anytime Floyd sells something, people normally buy it. Same with Dana White as well. Perfect timing as well. Uh, Deontay Wilder's got a big, I'll say big fight. Deontay Wilder's got a fight against Lewis Ortiz, Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz. And that was getting all the attention, right? And this is coming and literally stolen it from everyone. So it is perfect timing. I do wonder if it's going to be an exhibition belt. Even if it is an exhibition belt, um, look, hypothetically, if it's an exhibition belt and it's the launch of Zufa, it's still a massive launch for them, right? It's still a huge launch and it's a huge, I don't know, it's a huge get from Dana White because again, the questions were, what is he going to do in terms of, how is he going to make his splash into boxing? And I guess, again, getting the biggest name in boxing and Floyd still is the biggest name in boxing. Yes, he might have retired four or five years ago, but he's still the biggest name in boxing by far, by far. So um, this is a good one. I do wonder as well, in terms of, Potential fighters. A lot of people have asked me the question in terms of who can Dana White sign. Um, Javante Davis, uh, Floyd, so Floyd put this up on social media and Javante Davis said something along the lines of he wants some of that pay-per-view money or something like that. And it did make me think that a lot of these fighters aren't, they haven't got big deals with network. So, um, for example, Deontay Wilder is a Showtime, or well, was a Showtime fight. He's having his, his fight now or in a few days' time on Fox. Um, so a lot of these fighters are signed to PBC, but not necessarily big contracts with the networks, which makes me feel like they can literally go and fight on any network they want, depending upon the deal. So you do wonder, 
if Dana White is able, if he has the deep pockets, which I think he does, able to get some of these fighters that are fine to P or signed to PBC to fight on whatever network Dana White's going to have Zufa Boxing on. Um, I do wonder. And I guess with this Mayweather link up, you kind of wonder if that opens up doors for the Al Heyman link up. And if it opens up doors to an Al Heyman link up, then you're talking nearly every fighter on PBC, right? I mean, literally, and more. So um, th this is an interesting um, bit of news. Uh, again, this is more about Floyd, I guess. What is Floyd doing? Who is he going to be fighting? When in 2020? And you can imagine now every other network isn't going to announce their new fight dates until they know when Floyd's fighting. And, that, and that's fact, right? If the zone has something massive planned for April, the last thing they want to do is put it up next to a Floyd fight. I mean, you see how DAZN reacted when they fucking had Kovalev versus Canada at the same time as Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal. They don't want to compete. So now they're going to be waiting. Top rank are going to be waiting. Everyone now is going to be waiting until they know who Floyd is fighting and when Floyd is fighting. And now because he's muscled up with Dana White, boy, interesting times for boxing. Interesting times. Peace.